If we want to work out the area um, of some new shapes, we can often do it by going back to areas we already know. So for example, there is a formula for the area of the kite, but we actually want to show how we can develop that formula ourselves simply from using formulae we already know. So for example, we've got this kite here, we want to work out its area. One of the things that we can observe is if you have a look at this kite, it's basically, have a look, this triangle here, right? If we can know the area of that triangle, then this triangle is exactly the same. So the area of the kite, once we've got this triangle, we can just double it and we've got the area of a kite. And we know how to work out the area of a triangle. We've got to say half base times height. And luckily, we've been told that this dB is six centimeters. And we know that the diagonals cut in this this diagonal cuts this one in half in a kite so we know that this is just going to be half of the six so this is three centimeters so we've already got the height so all we need to do is we need to get what the base is so we're looking to work out what ac is but if we look carefully we can see ac is made up of ae so this piece here plus ec that piece there and why is that helpful? Well, have a look. AE is sitting in this little right angle triangle and EC is sitting in this right angle triangle. So we can use Pythagoras to get them. Let's start with AE. We can say AE squared plus ED squared is equal to AD squared, right? There's Pythagoras, that's our hypotenuse, so we are going to be able to do this very easily. We are going to say AE squared, which is what we want to know, plus ED, it's 3 squared, is equal to AD, which is 5 squared. And so AE squared is going to be 25 minus 9, which is 16, and so AE is just going to be 4. Now have a look at the other piece here, this other piece of what we're looking for, this EC, that's sitting in this triangle. So again, we can go and use Pythagoras and we can say EC squared plus ED squared is equal to DC squared. And so EC squared, what we want to know, plus ED, which is just going to be your 3 squared is equal to 8 squared. So EC squared is 64 minus 9, which is 55. So EC is the square root of 55, and that works out to be about um, 7,4 centimeters if we round it to the nearest one decimal place. So the area of the triangle a, D, C is half the base times the height. In other words, it's half A, C multiplied by D, E. Now, A, C is going to be made up of A, E plus E, C. So it's 11,4 centimeters. And your D, E is 3 centimeters. And when we put that in our calculator, 3 times 11.4 times by a half, we get our answer of 17,1 centimeters squared. And so the area of the kite is just going to be, well, there are two of those red rectangles, and they're exactly the same that make up the kite. So the area of the rectangle of the kite is just going to be twice that, which is going to be 34,2 centimeters squared. And then often you'll be confronted with situations where you've got um, two shapes, one inside the other, and you actually want to work out, for example, here, what the area, the sort of the black area, for example, in this diagram is. And if you know the radius of this big circle is five centimeters, say, and the radius of this little white circle inside is one centimeter, to work out how much of the black area there is, well, what you can do is you can take out, take the area of the big circle and just subtract the little area of the white circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the area of the big circle and you're going to subtract the area 
of the small circle because what they've asked you to get to do is to get the area of the black piece. So what's the area of the big circle going to be? Well, you know area of circle is pi r squared, and in this case the radius is 5. And the area of the small little white circle, the radius is 1. So you're going to say pi r squared again, which is 1. So you're going to have 25 pi minus, and 1 squared is 1, it's just pi. And you can then go to your calculator and you say 25 times by pi minus pi and you get obviously 24 pi and you get the answer there to be 75 comma 398 round if we round into one decimal place it'll be 75 comma 4 centimeters squared.